Good morning everyone and welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video here on the ground at Copenhagen. So today we will be going from Copenhagen all the way to Porto. Today's flight time is around 3 hours and 50 minutes so it's a pretty long flight and we have got some headwinds for quite a while of the way. So uh, yeah, bear in mind that it might take a little longer than due. Weather in Copenhagen is pretty fine, pretty standard, bit cloudy, not too windy, you know normal conditions we're flying the norwegian pmdg 77 ngxu today and then uh that would be everything really we are on that sim we're going to uh go under the call sign nor shuttle 48 juliet and that's really all i can say about the flight so you might as well just get into planning it uh so we will be doing the on route and then also the return as usual now actually it might be a bit windy because the clouds are moving pretty quick or was that me? That's what, that was just me. Don't worry. Right, anyway, let's get back in to the flight deck. So here we are in the NGXU flight deck. Pretty standard. Need to get some power. So we'll go battery, ground power, get the IRSs aligned like so. And then we'll come down here and turn on the emergency exit lights and the chimes as well as the seat belts. And then we're cruising to stay at flight level according to V Pilot. We are cruising at 34,000 feet. So we can get that set in. There we are. Uh, we want the position lights on to steady, not off, right? Yeah, steady. What else can we do while we're here? Uh, yeah, window heat's on. And that to me looks about all we can do. We are on the ground power. So I don't need to do anything else. As long as this is all good, that's all good. I'm happy with that. So you come down here and start planning the FMC. So position, we are at uh, Copenhagen. So it is Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel. And um, pop that. I'm pretty actually. I think I was told. Not told, but I think I remember. You take the left. This one. Apparently, that's what you're meant to do. So we'll do that. Uh, we're going to do a flight plan request. Injects you. Uh, this is the one we want select it and wait for that to come through oh, I've got a message from Pizza Hut get two large pizzas for a cypher £22 pound. that sounds very good to me there we go so we're loading the route route loading cool uh, before we activate it what we can do is we can go to active sky and have a look at the weather conditions so if we go to Echo Kilo runway 12 apparently for departure so we can plot that in runway 12 activate that execute perf now before we do the perf we've got to go and do the fuel so oh no it's in pounds not to worry so in kilograms we're taking one 11.7 kilos so we can do kj kj two pounds and that equals two five nine seven four so I'll pop that in, 25974, kapow, 26 pounds were taken, uh, obviously you times it by a thousand, so it's not 26 pounds, but yeah. Uh, cost index I believe is 12, reserves 1, zero fuel weight, like so, and we're cruising at 340, so I'll pop that in there. Transition altitude, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure last one was here at 7500, probably wrong. Takeoff, we're going flap 5. Trim it can, is 5.48, so request board in as well. That's our V1, VR, and V2. Over here, for some reason, the doors, uh, the front stairs aren't operating, so I'm just going to open up the air stairs as well as the front door as well. Open the cargo doors and also the left. Right, so trim is 5.48. Let's pop that. Probably just about there. Uh, and V, actually before we do the V2, let's go to departure. So apparently we are departing on the Nexi 2 Bravo. So let's find that. There we are. Nexi 2 Bravo. Go to the route. Cool. Take off. And then our QNH is, not QNH, our V2 is 148. So let's set 148. I'm hoping you can actually hear the sim, but for some reason I feel like 
You can't, so I'm going to up the sound a bit. And then we'll set our MCP altitude to 34,000 feet. Uh, runway heading 120. Bam. Flight direct to left, flight direct to right. VNAV, LNAV. Love it. Uh, 2000 on the TA. You can go switch to Unicorn, which is 122. Decimal 8. Switch that in there, obviously pull the parking brake. Um, I'm happy with everything over there. Weather and turbulence as well. And there we can set weather, data, traffic, and that is about it. Set that to the HPA, QH is 1006. And we can do the same over on. Oh, it has. Nice. Let's get the APU started as well. Because the quicker that started, the quicker the departure is in terms of time. And then we can switch it to the APU generator and then get rid of the ground power. So wait for that to start. There are a few planes on the ground, not many. Let's see if we can find some. Let's go plane spotting. So here we go, fan one. There's a Scandinavian 320neo, an MD-80. Cool. What else is there? Oh, what's that? Is that Brussels? Brussels Airline. That sure is. Brussels Airlines A319, that looks like. What about down here? No one. My my side? What's these little black things? No one on my terminal. We. Or even the UNICEF livery today. Right, so APU started, go to the APU generators, and then we'll come down here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And we can get rid of the ground power. FS actions, ground services, release the ground power, switch this to APU gen. Has this building even started yet? Oh, didn't want that. You can't see the passengers, so. Yep, that's great. Right, let's do a few things down here. Don't the video. We've got charts? Oh no, we don't. Need to use a navigraph. Um, let's initialize flight. Great. Go to the airport map. Here we go, so departing runway 12, which is this one, so it's a really quick taxi. We'll come out of uh, onto Yankee Taxi through Mike and go over Zulo and Kilo, and then we'll go to Kilo 1. Actually, no, we'll do Kilo 2, we don't need the full length, because, yeah, we could, we'll taxi to Kilo 2, and that means we'll be a shorter taxi as well. So no complaints from me. Um, I'm just going to reset GSX, I really don't want to be using, don't want to be waiting here forever. So we can get going as soon as possible. So to shut the doors. Just pretend the passengers have come on. Get rid of the cargo. Just have got Wi-Fi on this plane as well. Called into the little hub up there. Right, there we go. So that's all of the stairs as well. So let's get some things sorted up here. Let's get the anti-collision light on and prepare for pushback and departure. Norwegian of course. So let's get them parking brakes released. We are ready for our departure. I'm happy with everything up here. Right, we'll go engine right and ground. I don't need you. Thank you very much. Look at that wing bounce. Very nice. Oh god, I forgot we actually got to start the engines, haven't we? It's not an Airbus. I've been finding the FS Labs a lot lately, so that just makes sense as to why. 
I done that. Right, that's engine two. Parking brake set, and let's start engine uno. Engine uno. Need to put these fuel pumps on as well. Look, got a lot of fuel today. Right, let's start engine one. Wait for 2.5 uh, N1 or 25 N2. Fuel float. And that shall be engine one ready. So we'll set RTO and we'll go flap five. You can watch them flaps deploy. Look at these dirty wings. So that's the FAPS 5 out. Right, let's get things going then. So we want these are continuous taxi lights when we turn the flights on. Generator 2, generator 1, off. Your damper on, probe heats left and right on. Electrics also on, packs auto. Uh, isolation valve auto, AP bleed off. Of course, it's like, it's like I don't even think anymore, I just, I just do it automatically. Why are you still here? I set my parking brake, can you please? Did I not realise I set my parking brake? Right, well clearly GSX is like, nope. So let's just restart. And I'm hoping that our wheels won't get stuck like before. Praying actually. Right, let's try. Bit scared, bit nervous. Are we going to move? We are, thank God for that. Great. Amazing. Right, we're off. Let's go full left. Full right. Full down. Full up. We also got the MD80 over there. I think it's going to the wrong one way. So, where did I say he was going? Yeah, right onto Yankee, left onto Mike. So, right here. Excuse me, bus. I'm not stopping for you. Just in time. So is this mic? No. So right on this taxiway. No idea where my yoke's going left, so ignore that. I mean, apparently it's a Yankee, but it's obviously not. And then left onto the next taxiway, which is Mike, and it's not even there. So this Stephanie is updating. <laughs> I hate when my, thought, uh, my yoke does this. Right, 
Oh, we've got a thin, thin air. So you want to go left here. Not this one, but carry on to the left. Arm spoilers, of course. Oh no, they don't arm them, do we? You don't arm sp Uh oh. No problem. I said I didn't go on kilo two, didn't I? So we're gonna go left. Right, we're taking off from this runway. Due to the fact that there is a plane there. And we can't even get down. So, landing lights. Strobe lights on. Alright, let's go. So I'm the throttle. And don't worry, I'm not going to forget the clock today. I genu genuinely will remember the clock. Bam. Right. Okay, let's hold here for two seconds. Alright. Park and brake. Release. And let's go to around here. Stable Toga N1 Toga. Let's go. Okay, maybe stay on the runway will be good. A do not checked. Of climb rates, gear up. Got to look at that water. Set trip traffic, uh, D line two two five eight. Uh, I'm going to make this right turn once we get out this right turn and put this pilot in. Let's lock the gear, lower the nose because we've gone to climb power. Climb thrust. And flat one. Flaps up. And then let's go to Command A on the autopilot and have VNAV and also in. Just passing 4,000 feet. There we go. Quite a nice day in Denmark. Not too bad.
Right, 300 feet. Then we'll go to standard barrow cross check. And barrow reference. There we go. Standard. I should have done the same over here, which it did. Landing lights off. Turn off lights and taxi lights off. Don't need you. This can go back to normal. I really like the sky today. It's really good. Nice colouring. Quite a nice day. So yeah, the moment we've got a headwind, it's probably going to be the way the, that the whole entire way. It's an extremely long flight. Am I looking forward to it? Somewhat. But right, so anyway, you guys know the drill now. I will see you all at some point during this flight. And uh, enjoy cinematics of the departure out of Denmark. And obviously the cruise as well. See you soon. Hello everyone and welcome back to the, uh, well I would say flight deck but we're not the flight deck, we're outside. So now welcome back to the flight deck. Um, we're just around 80 nautical miles, so just a bit longer than that, until top of descent. So now is about the right time to start planning for arrival. So the uh, the runway we are looking at is ILS 35, but there's no ILS 35. So we're just going to go for the VDM, or no, so the RNAV, that's right, the RNAV. And then in terms of arrival, uh, we're on the Aspor, so we can choose anyone from Aspor, 5 Alpha or 5 Charlie, but just to be safe, the best option is to probably go to Simbrief and just double check, otherwise if we've got, we're in ATC right now and if we have the wrong ATC then probably not the best, so yeah let's edit the flight, um, right, 5 Alpha, that's when we're on, execute that, go to init ref, and this is our uh, landing speed, so it's flat 14 and, one, and speed 134 plus 5. That would be our landing speed for today. And that's all we've got to do. And then, oh, we've got a few routes. Can you, oh, there we go, two seconds. Bam, pop that in there. And then we should be on the ground not too long. Don't say we've got to descend, I was going to say. There it is, a bit further away now. Um, we've been, been in the air for 2 hours 35 minutes, we've just been contacted by Mabuenes, <laughs> what? Mubienes, please, set score 440. What does Mubienes? Madrid Centre, Twin Jet 1991, Squawk 4470. Right, four four zero four. There's a squawk. And then I'll get back to you near the top of the scent. See you in a bit.
Right everyone, welcome back to the flight deck. So, in case you can't really see, we are at an altitude of 10,000 feet and the runway is right there. So, I'm a bit concerned with altitude and everything. So what I'm going to do is, I'm taking out VNAV and we're going to descend, we're going to decel, sorry, to 160 ASAP with a speed breakout. And we're going to try and get this thing down. Um, we are, <laughs> we're at 10,000 feet and the runway is right there, so the, the correct thing to do would probably be do a circle, but... I mean, we're going to do a circle, aren't we? But let's be real. And we have time to do it as well. Right, let's do a circle. Quick little hold. And then we should be alright. Right, let's get the seatbelt signs on as well. Get these back to continuous. And there we are. Oopsie. Let's get this plane going down. Let's go flat five. Auto break two. So our final approach speed is 134 plus 5, which is 139, so you can put that in. Could be better weather, it's a bit turbulent, but yeah, we can deal with it. So, KH1014, that's set in. So, auto break 2, at flat 5 at the moment, auto. Um, KH1014, so far, everything's looking alright. Now I've done a little turn. It's going alright, going well. Can we see the airport? Not just, actually, I think I could. I believe that's it there. Or not. Where is the airport? Can't see it. Now I see it. Found the runway right there. I'm going to go auto break 3 just because I don't want to be doing a really big turn around. I want to get off there. So I want it to be quite a uh, early landing. The earlier we get off, the, be the better. Obviously, let's uh, set GSX as well. So let's go to gate um, 3 2 shall we let's go gate 3 2 why not we're a bit far off the runway
So let me t let's take my own control actually, let's make this more interesting. I have control. There we go. Right, go flap 10. So flat 15 and gear down. Speed brakes in, arm them. Let's go flat 25. The wind keeps changing its direction. Need to get the nose down. Right, let's go final speed 139 flat 30 Well, isn't this a great approach? Extremely turbulent. Right, let's discount the auto throttle. Okay, flat 40. Definitely need to go more to the left because. Even though flying into the headwind, we're still a bit too far to the right for my liking. Okay, now we can add a bit of thrust. Just trim the aircraft. Versus. Sixty knots, manual braking, reverse thrusts, idle. Um, I don't even know what the landing to that was. That was an absolutely awful landing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. For some reason, this plane I cannot seem to land. Why? I don't know. If I had the answer, I would tell you, but I don't know why. 3 hours and 20 minutes, not too bad. So that GSS loading. Let's have a look what the landing rate was. I don't want to know. Ouch, minus 4.85. I flared, right? And then because because I um, trimmed it at the very last second, the nose kept getting pushed down. So yeah, oops. Flaps up. Let's go. Get these passengers off ASAP. Probably, probably feel a bit sick after that. Wouldn't blame them. Or be surprised. Right, so let's get these memory turn flights off. APU start. Uh, that's taxi light. There we go. APU starting. Let's get the bleed on. Get rid of that as well. That was not my finest, let me tell you that. Strobe lights off as well.
I mean, we got down safely in the end, so, you know, not complaining in that area. At least we got down. Didn't break a wheel or tyre. Doesn't look like we have. They look pretty intact. I really like this view, don't know why. So looking for S, what was it, 32? Oh, there we go, found it. Oh, why did I do this? I'm just, I'm just taking the long route. I should have just stayed on the thingy. Oops. <laughs> no point of doing all that. Oh well. Right. And let's get the taxi lights off. Oh, where are we going? Oh, it's all the way down there. Okay. Keep it going. And that's our one there, by the looks of it. And hold it there. Parking brake set. And we can cut off these two engines. Probe heats off. Packs off. And let's request debooled in. Request debooled in. AP bleeds on. Then go to auto. Reset this to like 10,000 feet. Anti collision light can come off. Um, APU is on, which is good. Doing a return flight, obviously. Back to Copenhagen. Uh, Transponder can come off now. I forgot to put it to TAR. Uh, what else can we do? Weather off, data off, and traffic can come off. Now let's open up some doors, shall we? Ground services, let's set the chocks and doors. I want this one opened and this one opened, as well as these two. We've got stairs, which is good. So there we go. And there we have it, guys. Welcome to. Porto in Portugal. So yeah, unfortunately the landing rate was not the best. It was minus 485. But you know, everyone's safe. Everyone's down on the ground. We're all going to get off the plane. Hopefully without any injuries. That's what I'm hoping anyway. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do the return back to Copenhagen. And I will see you all in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.